Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a very elegant problem for you guys. Uh, this one was posted um, on the Art of Problem Solving Forum by Parmenides, who always has great problems, so thanks for posting this. And it's from the Oral Moscow Team Math Olympiad in 2019. So if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the solution. So we have a triangle ABC uh, with in center I, and the in circle is tangent to side BC at point D. Uh, let M be the midpoint of BC. And now we take the perpendicular from M to the line AI, um, and we let it intersect the perpendicular from D to the line MI at point E. So I've labeled the feet of uh, these perpendiculars F and G. It's not a part of the problem statement, but I added it just for clarity. So E is the intersection of these two perpendiculars, and we want to show that AE is perpendicular to BC. All right, so how do we begin here? Um, so with all these perpendiculars, uh, one idea I had in mind was to try to show that uh, D is the orthocenter of some triangle. So I want to show that AE is perpendicular to BC. Uh, that would be the same as saying that AE is perpendicular to MD. So maybe I could get D to be the orthocenter of some triangle. Um, we know that AI is perpendicular to ME, um, and we know that E, D is perpendicular to MI. So how can I get D um, as an orthocenter? And so my idea is, um, so first I'm gonna drop an altitude from A to BC. And, and I wanna show that E lies on that perpendicular line. Um, so I've dropped a perpendicular H from A to BC, and I wanna show that E lies on the line AH, okay? Um, so what I want to do is I want to intersect MI with this altitude and then whatever that triangle, let's say it intersects at, at point J, then I want to show that D is the orthocenter of JME. And that would solve the problem uh, because EF is perpendicular to one of the sides. And then if I could show that um, that point JD, if I could show that that line is perpendicular to ME, uh, then that would mean that D is an orthocenter, and so we'd have the third perpendicular, uh, which would solve the problem. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to let MI meet the altitude at a point J. So I want to show that D is the orthocenter of JEM. That would solve the problem. Okay. Um, so where do we go from here? So if I want to show that D is the orthocenter of JEM, then I want to show that JD is perpendicular to ME, but we know that AI is perpendicular to ME. So I want to show that JD is parallel to AI. So how do I do that? And the key will be to use a theorem from my last video. So the IM lemma. Um, so very a lot of times right after I show a lemma, I like to show a problem uh, that uses it. So this is one of those cases. Okay, so I'm going to let AD intersect the line MI at a point K. And applying the IM lemma, that means that AK is equal to KD. Okay, um, so see the last video on my channel for this, video number 65. Uh, it's a beautiful theorem, um, very simple configuration, but still... Uh, based on a lot of deep properties. Um, and in that video, I uh, used the, the X center uh, to prove this fact. Um, but in any event, uh, we know that AK is equal to KD. So how does that get us to where we want? How does that let us show that AI is parallel to JD? And it turns out this isn't that hard. Um, because if we know AK is equal to KD, uh, we also know that ID is parallel to AJ, and that's enough to show that AJDI is a parallelogram. So I'm going to walk you through the proof right now, um, but it's not that uh, difficult once we know that AK is equal to KD. Um, we can show the two triangles AJK and KID are congruent by angle side angle. So I'm going to write this out. Um, 
Uh, first, I'm going to note that we know AJ is parallel to IB. Uh, that's pretty clear because both are perpendicular to BC. Okay, so AJ is parallel to IB. And then also, once we know that, um, we have two alternate interior angles. So angle JAK is equal to angle KDI. So I'm going to write that. So we have angle JAK is angle KDI. And it's also clear that these two vertical angles are equal, uh, JKA and DKI, okay? And then AK is equal to KD from the IM lemma above. And so that's enough to prove that triangles AJK and KDI are congruent. And then from there, it's not hard to see that AJDI has to be a parallelogram because the diagonals bisect each other. Um, so I kind of recognized that AJDI was a parallelogram uh, once I knew that AK was equal to KD, but this is just writing out the full proof here. Okay, so AJDI is a parallelogram. And so that gets us to where we want, because we wanted to show that JD was parallel to AI. And that's true then, because since AJDI is a parallelogram. And so... Since AI is perpendicular to ME, that means JD has to be perpendicular to ME, okay? And if we know that JD is perpendicular to ME, then we've shown that D is the orthocenter of the triangle that we wanted, which was JEM. So I'm gonna write this out, but, but basically, okay, so we're given in the problem statement that ED is perpendicular to JM, and from up here, we know that JD is perpendicular to ME. So that means in the triangle JDM, uh, D lies on two of the three altitudes. And so it has to lie on the third altitude. Um, so that means that MD has to be perpendicular to JE. And um, so, so yeah, this is what I just said. Since it lies on two of the three altitudes, D has to be the orthocenter of JEM. And so therefore D, um, MD has to be perpendicular to JE. And then we're essentially there because uh, we also know that MD is, is perpendicular to AH. Um, that's pretty clear. And so since AJ and H are collinear, uh, that means that AE has to be perpendicular to BC. Um, so that's the final step. So since MD is perpendicular to AH, um, by definition, because H I constructed to be the altitude. Um, if MD is perpendicular to both AH and JE, and AJ and H are collinear, um, then it's clear from that that AD that AE has to be perpendicular to BC. So this is a really cool problem. Uh, once you know this IM lemma, so that's that's pretty key. Um, then the problem starts to become really easy. So I found another way to solve it uh, that didn't use the IM lemma, and it was very complicated, a lot of calculations, but this, this crucial lemma really simplifies things. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.